Hello everyone, welcome to our practice. My name is Francine and I'm very happy to be guiding you in our practice today. We're going to begin lying on our backs in constructive rest. That is when we place our feet to the outer edges of the mat, we let our knees fall inward. And we just come to the breath, grounding and centering ourselves. Three more breaths here. And from here, let's place our arms in front of us, fingertips up to the sky. We're going to do some arm circles, so you may want to look around the room for water bottle blocks, pets, children. Inhale, arms by the ears, and then we exhale them down and around. And then again, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. And how about one more? And then we'll toe heel the feet in line with our hip bones. We're going to bring the knees to the chest, hands just behind the knees, rocking side to side a couple of times. And then what we're going to do is on an inhale, extend our arms by our ears. On an exhale, we're going to extend the legs down. And then we'll bring the legs back and the arms back. I'll demonstrate. Inhale, arms, exhale, legs, inhale, legs, exhale, arms. So it's arms, legs, legs, arms again, arms. Now, if your breath is asking for a different pattern, that's absolutely okay. We're going to do one more of these. And then slightly different on the inhale, we're going to extend our legs up to the sky and bring our arms by the ear. So first, let's flex both our ankles. On the inhale, feet to the sky, arms by the ears. Exhale, knees to chest. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. We have one more. Hands behind the knees. Can we rock up and down on our spine a few times? And then we come up either crossing the legs and then coming to all fours or taking the legs to the side. From here, making our way to cat cow. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. And again. One more. And from here, turning to face the long side of our mat, extending one leg, taking our torso up, inhale, and on the exhale, side bend. We call this gate pose. And then just inhale to neutral, exhale, gate pose. Three more.
last one and then we'll bring this extended leg in make our way towards the other end of the mat gate pose five times inhale and then exhale I find that first one I'm always a little more stiff and it starts to open up a little bit as we continue three more last one turning to face the short end of the mat grabbing our blocks if we have them feeling free if we like to place a cushion underneath the right knee the left foot comes forward we find low lunge we inhale the arms up and then we start to do a twist and the twist is away from the bent knee then we're going to take this hand up this hand down can we reach the heel and neutral again last one untwist switching which foot is forward inhale we exhale away from that front knee we take the front arm up to the sky can the other hand just touch that foot and again now I can't reach that's okay Some days I reach, others I don't. How about one more? Untwist. Let's find wide-legged child's pose, toes together, knees apart. Pressing into the hands, we start to walk the hands towards us, knees come inward. We tuck our toes under, and then we take our hands towards us, the knees lift. We take a breath here, and then we start to make our way to mountain, returning the blocks to the short end of the mat. Feet are about hip width apart. We inhale those arms up almost a little back bend and then exhale down and then up heart to the sky exhale inhale exhale one more Hands come to the heart. Feet still hip width apart. Coming into mountain salute. If we can, hands palm to palm. And if that's uncomfortable, we can have, when we come up, the arms about shoulder width apart. What's most important, soft knees, core engaged. Inhale up, lift the heels. And exhale down. And again. one more and then let's put that together with the previous one where we had our heart opening and lifting along with lifting the heels so we inhale up and exhale down you'll notice I'm trying to get a little bit of 
movement into the shoulders as well. And that was our last one. We bring our hands to our heart and we come to our breath. 